Step one when your new Toro arrives is getting your Toro out of the box. And there's a hard way and there's an easy way. The hard way would be to slice the tape down the top of this box and then struggle and try to lift this 80 pound mower out of the box. The easy way is a little trick we use here at Main Street Mower. We go in through the bottom. and you have all your contents of the box laying out here. Uh, step two is to take your manual and throw it directly into the trash can. Just kidding, you will need this manual, but not right now. First, you have to remove this knob. Put that down. There's one just like it on this side. Take that one off too. Now we lift the handle up. And you can see this bolt here goes in this only hole that's in this handle. Now we do the exact same thing to the other side. Put the bolt through the hole in the handle and screw your knobs back on. These knobs are what they call nylock. They have nylon in them. So after you get them a little ways on, they're going to feel hard to turn. This is to really keep them in place while the mower is vibrating, keep the vibrations from shaking them off. Tighten it till it gets snug. With every Toro, you're going to have three different options to deal with your grass clippings. The first and easiest is to mulch. And all you have to do is keep this compartment here closed and this side discharge chute closed as well. Your second option is to bag your clippings. And this is done quite simply by installing your bagger. Lift this back door and slip this into the groove and let the door back down. Uh, the, only, the final step would be to engage your bag on demand lever. Your final option is to side discharge your clippings and that's done by lifting this door and sliding the chute into place and letting the door come back down. Uh, this, keep in mind that this lever has to be in the up position. Last but not least, we'll use these levers to adjust to our desired cutting height. Then you add your gas and your oil. This oil is provided, it's 20 ounces, that's exactly how much this motor needs. Uh, on the knob, it'll tell you which one's oil and which one's gas. Dump the entire contents of this into there, and add gas, and you're ready to go.